morning guys it is time to shake it because it's almost time to work out today's flavor of zip fizz is bam wow blueberry raspberry i knew it like <laughs> that is so funny like i reached in my roulette i grabbed one and then i was like no i'm gonna put that down and i'm gonna go even further back and get even further under and i still end up grabbing the same flavor that i grabbed yesterday do you think i care Nope, I am going to enjoy this blueberry raspberry. Mm-hmm. You ain't said nothing but a thing. All right, guys, lots of work to do today, so let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. been shaking it sitting down for the past couple days and I forgot how good it feels to put your whole body into it. Put your whole body. Stand up right now. <laughs> to living your best life. Oh yeah. And I will do that with blueberry raspberry zip fizz every single time. Okay guys, the first step to putting your design on a screen is to cover the screen and what's called emulsion and emulsion is this well mine is blue but it could i've seen it in a bunch of different colors it's this liquid that basically forms a coating over your screen for you to be able to punch out your design template it sounds really complicated but it's actually kind of simple and kind of neat <laughs> when you really go through the whole process but the thing is you have to do it under like a red light because it's photosensitive meaning that it dries in the light so you can't expose it to direct light so that's why I'm using a red light I've turned off all the lights in my basement so I'm gonna pour some of this emulsion into my scoop coater I've just learned I've just learned about so many things <laughs> doing screen printing it's really neat okay and then I'm gonna take my homemade screen that I made yesterday. Take my emulsion. I'm gonna go up one side. I'm gonna go up the back side. And there you have it, your screen is covered. And so you just wanna let this dry and then you can punch out your design on it. Speaking of been a while since I caught you live, I actually caught uh, Keto Connect live on Instagram this morning. And it's been so long since I've done that. Like even when I logged on and I commented, Mega was, was like, Autumn, it's been a long time. And I was like, I know, right? Like I rarely, catch them live anymore so that was really that was really good i mean it, it's consistency is just so refreshing you know to see that they're still there doing the same thing even though you know their life has changed they have a baby now like matt and mega will always be hashtag goals you know so like let's see good morning lisa says good morning love today's vlogmas i'm so excited for this new venture you're on thank you so much i am too i've been ordering things in the mail every single day like i have so many more supplies coming and i love it and so here's the thing guys i really appreciate i've gotten a lot of messages like oh you know autumn there's an easier way to make t-shirts you can just use vinyl and, and transfer them or heat transfers and things like that like i get it and i appreciate you I like screen printing. I like making my own shirts. Like there's tons of companies out there that I could send my designs to and they would make my shirts. Like I, I know that I get it. I actually like doing this. So I'm not looking for an easier way. Plus it's not difficult. Like, I mean, it is, it is involved in the beginning, but like, I like doing it. So like, I'm not looking for an easy way out. I really appreciate the thought, but I like doing this. She was going through each order. It's like, oh my God, they ordered a sweatshirt. Oh my God. And then she's like, oh my God, they ordered a tank top. And then when she got through the third order, she was like, oh, this is going to Chicago. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Now I have to go back and look and see where everyone lives. Y'all like, know how I feel about the fact that 
y'all watch us from all over the world so while we're at it go ahead and drop where you're viewing us from because i literally went through every new order last night there was like over 10 i'm sobbing ew ew stop holding that note better okay can you see Clear. it okay hey, so hey, it is spectrum hey, yeah because now we're hey, on the verizon network hey. so you're, you're using an iphone no wonder it's messing up hold on treva i know right my whole thing is mm -hmm. because we can go back mm -hmm. and forth all day mm -hmm. the iphone user fixed the issue shout out to me it was the network it was but spectrum. I knew to go to You're the right. Place. I would not have known how to turn off the Wi-Fi mid using the device. You're right about that. Okay, guys. So I'm at the shop. And as is normal this time of year, clients just bring food to show us that they care. This is my least favorite thing ever. No, not this food. This food is actually delicious. Like, I would love to eat this. But just food sitting out. Like, hey, someone brought food. I'm just gonna sit it out here to see if anyone wants it. Like, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> like, I want to eat this whole thing. Partly because it would taste good, but partly just because it would then be gone. And the thing is, this is gonna sit here for days. It's Wednesday. Who knows when this was actually placed here? Probably on Monday. I'm throwing it away on Friday, I'll tell you that. Nobody eats it by Friday, it's in the trash. Okay guys, a lot of stuff has uh, transpired since we uh, met last. Notably, ooh, my face is all, oh, she looking good. You guys, like, as much as I love this face that I can, like, do this face of makeup, it's the only one. It's the only thing that I can do. Like, the thing I envy about my sister is that, like, she has so many different looks. She has, like... A, a casual look like when she doesn't have on makeup she has a makeup look that makes it look like she doesn't have on makeup you know and then she has like full glam she can do crazy colors and things like that like this this is all I got I can give you one good smoky eye you know and I just figured out my whole lip situation a year ago so like this is all I got yeah it looks good but I'm a one-trick pony I'll tell you that Okay, like secondly, I am now on my way to the zoning office because if you remember from last week when I told you we got that surprise inspection, there were some things that I have to get together and I need to get a couple of signatures. And you guys, one of the signatures was from the plumbing inspector who I scheduled to come to the salon today and he did, but I forgot the paper at home. Like I forgot the signature paper at home and when I tell you that stung, that just hurt so bad. Now the good news is he did the inspection and he's going to sign the paper, but now I need to bring the paper to his office tomorrow morning, get this, between the hours of 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. That's the only time that they're gonna be there. So that tacked something onto the beginning of my day that I was not planning for. But another signature that I need is from the Department of Zoning, which is downtown. So I'm traveling to downtown Louisville to get that signature. Then I got to haul behind right back out to this side of town because if you remember from my live this morning, for those of you who watched, my father is like graduating or getting some sort of certificate. He said it's equivalent to like an associate's degree of like becoming a millwright. And if you don't know, a millwright is someone that like fixes and calibrates machinery. So my dad works at a car manufacturing plant here in Louisville. I think he's been there for like over 20 years at this point, just coming on 20 years. And when he first got there, he was like everybody else, just screwing nuts and bolts and being a cog in the wheel. But you know that's not how the Sprats do. We strive for excellence. So instead of being the person that uses the machines to screw in the bolts, he fixes the machines that screw in the bolts. What? Like that's some really scientific stuff, you know what I'm talking about? So two weeks ago, he sends me and my three siblings a group text like, hey, I'm getting the certification in two weeks. I have two tickets. My wife is using one of them. Do any of the other kids wanna come? And when I tell you literally, all three of my siblings were like, oh, I can do it. Oh, I can do it. Oh, oh, sure, I'd love to be there. So I was like, look, okay, I'm gonna let one of y'all go. It's not like I ain't got enough to do. So then last night around 10 o'clock p.m. to which you know I was already in bed, 
my sister calls me hollering about, Autumn, did dad call you? And I was like, no, what's going on? She was like, no one can go to his graduation and now he's sad because he wants one of his kids to be there. Like, do you have any meetings tomorrow around that time? And I was like, come on, man. So luckily I don't have any meetings, so I'm able to go. But like, I also have to go get this signature done for the shop today. So I'm all over the place, like, I'm just ripping and running, plus you guys, another thing. So you remember I showed you earlier how I put the emulsion on my screens? Well, I ruined them because when I set them to dry, I set them hovering over paper so that in case they dripped, the emulsion would go on the paper and not my table. But then I turned a fan onto the screens to help them dry quicker and help the air circulate. The fan blew all the paper up on the screens so now all the paper is caked onto the screens and i'm gonna have to take all that off and start all over again <sighs> so i mean there's a lot that's been going on but hey i'm grateful i'm thankful things are going well for me they're just kind of busy right now all right you guys the freaking christmas shoe song is on and this is the first time i've heard it this season and you know what it can be the last okay if you've never heard the song Christmas Shoes, you don't ever have to listen to it. I'm gonna spoil it for you, okay? Skip forward about 10 seconds if you don't wanna hear me tell you about this song. It's about a little boy who's standing in line to buy his mother some shoes for Christmas cause she's about to die and go meet Jesus and he wants her to have pretty shoes on. What? What? I'm done. I'm done. Y'all, I done drove all the way downtown only to get to the division of zoning and planning and for them to tell me that my salon is technically located in like a small locality that handles their own zoning and planning and that I would need to go to their office which get this is a quarter mile away from the shop <laughs> That's okay, like on a day like today, it is what it is. So I just have to get that done tomorrow. I have to get that done tomorrow. And I'm just gonna chalk it up to the holidays. I done put so much time on this meter right here and I don't need none of it, okay? Like, Merry Christmas, whoever gets to this meter after I leave because I was in and out in two minutes. I done drove all the way down here. That's okay, that's okay. That just means I'm gonna be super duper extra early to my, my dad's graduation. Yep, I'm just gonna head down there and uh, it'll be what it is. Merry Christmas. One of the pros of getting to my dad's thing like so early is that I'm just sitting in the car like catching up on all of my Instagram stories. Like I cannot tell you how long it's been since I've watched all of the Instagram stories of people that I'm subscribed to, like, I just feel so disconnected sometimes, you know? So the fact that I get to sit here and look at them all and just like not have anything else to do at the moment, like, I am living for this right now. I honestly don't know if I'm at the right place, but like, we gonna see in a few minutes when I try to go in, I'll tell you that. Okay guys, so legitimately the only reason I'm awake is because the season finale of The Masked Singer came on tonight and like, I wanted to watch it. And like, I knew who most of the people are. I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone, but like, I did not know who the Rottweiler was. And then I also didn't realize that like, I already loved so many of his songs already. I was just like, oh my God, he sings that. Oh my God, he sang that, like get out of town. But I knew who the winner was. And like, I already knew he could sing. So like, I feel like he had this big chip on his shoulder. Like, I'm finally gonna show the world that I need to be taken seriously as a vocalist. And I was like, I mean, maybe it was just me, but I already took you very seriously as a vocalist. But like, whatever, I'm still glad he won. Okay guys, so also my dad's little graduation thing was really, really cute. <laughs> I asked if I could take video and he said it was strictly prohibited and as we were walking around the plant I was like oh yeah but there's like a ton of like trade secrets and stuff that like they wouldn't want me to be videotaping so I couldn't get any footage but it was really cute and also it turned out to be a dinner so like I didn't plan on it but I ended up eating today I had dinner at his little ceremony and then, I mean, in typical fashion, when I came home, I was like, well, I've already eaten, so I might as well eat some snacks. So I ate some snacks, and like, 
to be honest, I don't feel guilty about it. Like my plans changed. It's the holiday. My dad graduates like once ever. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to eat. I'm not going to feel bad. I'm going to post a game tomorrow. And I'm also eating off plan tomorrow because I'm going to a Mexican restaurant with my best friend Richard. Like sometimes your goals are to be strict and perfect. And sometimes your goals are to maintain the best you can and still live life and be guilt free. And that's what I'm doing. Like I have every confidence that I will maintain my weight for December overall. So who cares if it creeps up for two or three days here? I know that it'll get back down before the end of the month. And that's my own personal goal. You do you. But I had a great time today and I don't feel any guilt. <laughs> but honestly, I was supposed to get a lot accomplished today and I just plain didn't. So like I have to do all of that tomorrow. And I left work around two o'clock. So I know that my emails are just already ridiculous. So I have to catch up tomorrow and Friday so that starting next week I can be stress free. Okay guys, well I'm going to sleep. Like I should not be awake this late, but I'm glad that I know like who everyone on the Masked Singer was. And the fact that they already have a season three shot and it's gonna premiere after the Super Bowl. Like way to go Fox, like way to go. <sighs> okay, that's enough for me. I've had a great day. Hope you had one too. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.